Hi everyone, it's Tracy and I am with Craft Warehouse and today I want to talk about and explain the different usages of blending stumps. We carry this greatest little set at the stores and it's a really versatile tool for all your dry media. And I think a lot of people are intimidated or don't quite know what they are for. So we're going to go over some different techniques and tips so you can get familiar with them. So we will get started. Thanks for watching today. All right, let's talk about this great blending stump set we carry here at Craft Warehouse. A blending stump is just going to be compressed paper. And you use this on dry media. So that would be graphite, colored pencil, pastel, um, charcoal, and it's for just blending. Using charcoal, you can get great shading, you can um, get detail. Uh, this, these are great for faces when you're trying to shade in eyes and cheeks and mouths and all that kind of stuff. So this set comes with number one, which is gonna be the smallest guy, up to a number six. And then you actually, an extra two of these number ones, so you'll end up with three of the number ones. They all have two points on each side, so you can use both sides, which is great. Um, and that'll allow you to use almost all this stump, so you shouldn't have a lot of waste. Talking about how to use these, how to clean them, and some great tips. All right, here we go. All right, I have two circles here in a charcoal, and so I'm gonna show you how you can smooth out the lines and blend these together. You don't wanna push really hard. Well, depending on how, how hard you push is the effect you're gonna get. But um, you'll notice I'm just kind of lightly pushing back and forth and that just kind of creates a nice fill-in look. You can kind of get some soft lines right there. You can see that you can kind of pull it up a little bit and create some shading that way. And you can kind of go outside the lines if you were wanting to do that. It just gives me some nice control. We'll try a little one here. So it's great for um, smearing and creating pattern and texture. Stumps are also great for creating a smooth transition between your lines. So as I was kind of going up here, you can kind of see it's a nice smooth transition there. Okay, let's talk about how you would clean your blending stumps. As you can see, the stump is pretty dirty. So what you would want to do is take some sandpaper and you just rub your stump. And as you can see, it just takes off all that used paper because again, it's just compressed paper. So you're just going to keep rubbing until you get that guy to a nice, clean, new, usable stump. So now as you can see, I have a nice clean stump end. So here's a great tip when you're using your blending stump and you're going from a darker to a lighter. When you start going, you're gonna see that your stump is gonna get dirt on that. So as we talked about how to um, clean that off, you could clean it or you can just turn your stump as you're going and then that's gonna keep your darker areas darker and your lighter areas lighter. Now, if you wanna bring some of that down into there, you can definitely just keep going with that darker bit. It's just however you want it to look. You can see how that's kinda of smoothing all those lines out. And it might be where when you get done, you might need to add, this is graphite I'm using right now. So if you make it too light, you can always come back and just add a little bit more of your medium you're using back in there. And then you can just blend it a little bit and it's gonna go back a little bit darker. So great versatile tool here. Another tip when you're using charcoal you don't want to press too hard when you're doing charcoal because one, 
if you need to, that charcoal, when you, if you push too hard, it's pushing that into the paper. So if you need to erase any of this, you have a chance of um, destroying some of your paper as you're fine tuning your drawing. So I would suggest with charcoal, just a nice light motion. Again, you don't wanna push that charcoal too far into your paper. All right, let's try some colored pencil and see what kind of results we can get from that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a rainbow. I got some red into oranges. And you can see it just makes a nice smooth effect. So the lines I actually drew just kind of blend. Great tool you can use for any dry medium. Another tip what you can do is you can actually bend this tip and that's going to create a different effect when you blend it. will even give it a softer look. So you basically just take your tip and you're just gonna push it down on some paper and see if I can get that in there. So I'm just gonna kinda gently push it to the side and you're gonna see that it kinda bent right there, okay? So then, if you get your paper back, I'm barely pushing on that, and it's giving me some great blending there. So, um, and the great thing with this, again, since it's paper, you can just flatten that back out, and it's just as sharp as it was before. Another tip, if you want to be kind of careful you don't overblend, sometimes you can remove too much and make it too light and too soft. So if that's the case, what you do is you just you got this blended and say I wanted that a little bit darker, just grab whatever you were using. I was using some charcoal and just go and add a little bit more. And then you can achieve um, the shading that you need. Hey, thanks for joining me on blending stumps today. So I hope you got some um, good information and makes you want to come down and get some blending stumps and try your next art project. So come down and see us at Craft Warehouse. All right, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.